Hello, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and welcome back to my channel. So today I would like to um, show you how to do a percentile, decile and quartile in Excel. So before we start, um, let me remind you the definition of quartiles, deciles and percentiles. So we often talk about the top 25% or top 10% or even top 1% of something, right? When we are segmenting data into percentage, we commonly are talking about quartiles, deciles, and percentiles. Quartiles divide data into four parts, while deciles divide the data into 10 parts and percentiles divide the data into 100 parts. So, and knowing how to do this is very important for us, especially if you are a teacher. So you need to know a, the percentile scores of your student or quartiles, the student who are on the quartiles or deciles on or percentiles. So in doing so, for example, I have the set of data here and I have 15 students and this is the scores of their exams. So this is just example. You can do a bigger data than this because actually for the uh, Quartile, decile, and percentiles, we can use a very big, big data with this. So, what you need to do is to make this data in order because this is not in order. You can see 25, 35, 75, 80, but then go back to 45. So, in doing so, you can highlight all of this and then go to the data right, and then sort. I want to make this uh, in order so I go and click score and then I want smallest into largest okay it's already there so I hit okay so this is the um, score in order so I can just like go ahead and make sure that this is in order too so this is one two and three so to make it um, faster you can actually highlight one two three and then when there is cross up here you can just block them and it's already in order okay so now um, this is the formula of how to locate the percentile so the location of percentile LT equal to number number here is the number of students plus one and the percentiles that you want to count all right this is the p and divided by 100 all right so i want to see the 25th percentile of my data so you can actually do equal and you can do double parentheses because there will be like um, um here right times of in the bracket so um, so number of the student here we have we got we've got 15 right so you can do plus one right and then times you can do this symbol all right so and then open parenthesis and uh, p is the percentile we have p we want to count the 25th here right so just go ahead and put 25 and divide it by 100 and close the bracket and double close and then go ahead and hit enter all right so i don't know why this is four Okay, so I, so the 
this is not 40, so this is actually 100. So if I change into 100, right? So I got four, right? Because we don't have 40 students here. And then so I was like, oh, 40. And the formula is apparently um, got mistaken here. So if you want to do the next, fifth, the 50th percentile, you can actually copy and paste the formula. So you can just copy and put it here, right? And paste. And let me just complicate it. Yeah. And then if you here, put here, and then double click, and then you can actually just change uh, 25 into 50. Just change uh, 50 here, and then hit enter. And then you can, once again, control C, and then control V, and <clears throat> double click here. So 50 into uh, 75, right? So, all right. So, the 25th percentile location is the student number four. So here is number four. So the percentile value here is 45. So I can just go ahead and type 45 here. And then percentile position of 50th percentile is student number eight. The student number eight is here. And the score is eight. So I like 80 here and then this is a the position is student number 12 number 12 is 83 all right okay so now the with the decile is actually um, similar to a uh, percentile so in decile is actually divided by 10 right so the style is divided by 10 so i can just copy um, the formula here right control v here so i would like to go ahead and see the formula here so 75 here i would like to change into 8 right meanwhile the the 100 here i would like to divide by 10 so it's actually the position is 12.8 so here 12.8 is actually between 12 and 13 so how do we get the um, value of 12.8 it's actually we can see the range between um, 12 and 13 so we can just go ahead and do this formula um, 85 um, minus 82 so equal to 2 right so we have 2 here okay so now after you have 2 here so this is uh, the number of range between um, 13 and 12 so 85 to 83 is 2 so we want to see uh, the score of 0.8 here so let's go ahead and do um, the symbol 2 times uh, 0.8 that's equal to 1.6 so, so now, let's go ahead and um, add um, the position here. 12 is 83, right? So, 83 is the 12, right? So, 0.8 is actually this one. So, plus 1.6 is equal to 84.6. So, just go ahead and do 84.6. That's the percentile value. 
So that is like 25, 50, 75, right? The like the really order number. So what what about if we want to see like the 33 percent file? Let's just go ahead and put the same um, formula here. So like to copy and paste here. All right, just go ahead and control P and double click. So I would like to change 25 into 33. All right, and then hit enter. So this is 5.28. So it's between 5 to 6 here, so between 70. 57 to 75 so we do the same action as what we did before so we do equal to uh, this one 75 uh, minus 57 18 so that's the um, the range between 75 to 57 so we want to do uh, the uh, the value of 0.28 so 18 times 0.28 go to 504 so let's just go ahead and put this equal right so this is 5 so we just go ahead and do 5 plus um, 5.04 and we got 62, 62.04. So that the percentile value of the 33rd percentile. So we would like to see now the quartile position. So as as I mentioned before, quartile is actually like one four, and the second quartile would be like two. Four. Just do like this is Q1 and then Q2 okay? and Q3. So it's actually similar um, formula. So we could just copy, right? And then just double click here. So we want to change this, right, into 1. And then 100 into 4 and go ahead and enter and the results actually the same right it's just like drag here and then we can just, just double click and then change this to 2 because that the second quartile the result is also 8 and into three so the result is 12 okay so this is the actually the result here so because of the position is the same so we can just like go ahead and copy paste so actually that is basically how to um, do the percentile Missiles and quartile in Excel. If you have any questions, feel free to post to post the questions on the comments below. Thank you so much, and wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.